I would call this the little red schoolhouse. I learned here. I learned what it means to be gay. I learned what it means to be proud I'm gay. I learned how to lead a good lifestyle and be gay. All that time I was coming into Julius's. They walk up to the bartender and they say, we are homosexual, we are orderly, and we would like to be served a cocktail. And the bartender very dramatically puts his hand over the glass and says, I cannot serve you. So these guys say, thank you very much. Then they approach the New York City Human Rights Commission when they say, we will sue the State Liquor Authority if you don't overturn that regulation. And that's exactly what happened. That victory at Julius's enabled gay people and that's what finally leads to them saying enough is enough. We're just not going to put up with it anymore. If this were to close, the gay community would be devastated. This is our establishment. This is where we come to congregate, to talk, to gossip, to help each other out. We can rhapsodize over. It's a place. It's a bar. It's a business, you know. But it just happens to be at the right place at the right time. It was a shelter. I feel it's good to have a space like this. It brings people together. Whether it is for drinks, whether it is for food, um, it brings us as a community together. I think it's important that we know where we've been so we can go forward with that in mind. Nothing is given to us. We had to work for it, literally put our bodies on the line to make it happen. And that can't stop, because what you earn can be taken away like that. <laughs>